When your enterprise is set up by the Oxion production management team, there's a lot of uh, pieces, parts that come together. We, have, of course, have your design, we have your navigation, all of these different modules and taxonomy uh, that are set up for you. So uh, a lot of clients want to know, well, how does this all come together? I mean, some clients don't want to know it all. Some clients want to see how this all uh, how do they get to this information, you know, regardless of where they might be. And we have a tool called a um, uh, edit mode, enable edit mode. And by the way, if you happen to be, um, if you don't have that link on your site, you can simply type in in the tail end of your uh, path of your website, wherever you happen to be. If you are logged in and have client console administration privileges, you can type in question mark EM equals one at the tail end of your um, path of whatever page you're on and it will enumerate this little toolbar at the bottom of the site which will basically uh, help demystify all of these things found on the site so for example as I hover over you'll see that these features here in the center are being created by data sources this is a data source this is a data source that is a data source this is a tool that's often used by our team when uh, bringing your site together so whether I need to access the home page which is what we're looking at here or the navigation or or any module that's being used on the site you'll see that these all these are all add zones that you see here these are banners so by clicking on any one of these things like for example if I click on this training example it will ask me for my credentials and as I type, type it in there's the record that allows that thing to take place on the front end. So of course there's a lot of things being set up. Let's just go to a different uh, place here and we might see, let's go to this module. Well here we have, we're showing that uh, uh, this is the module designer for this module. This is the uh, banner or zone that serves this little breadcrumb trail. And by clicking on any one of these items, it takes me right to that record. So it's a great way of uh, if you are curious or you wanted to make any modifications to your site, it's a great way of saying, okay, show me kind of the behind the scenes of what's happening on this web page so that I can easily get to any of these things. If I wanted to redesign this module, I'd simply click on that link there. It takes me right to the module view for that particular module, generic enhanced A, and uh, you know, here I can make my changes and do whatever I need to do. Another nice tool that uh, clients might be unfamiliar with is this uh, called the Toolbox. And basically all of these little scripts here that are doing all these neat little things um, basically are available right here on the right hand side of our screen. So for example, if I wanted to add functionality while in here, I'm just gonna take this uh, breadcrumb trail and pop it in right there. I'll just say, okay, so I just added a breadcrumb trail to that page. So all of these tools over here on the left, or on the right, forgive me, are, you know, add to cart, breadcrumb trail, printer-friendly icons, uh, any single function that you can imagine that might live on a web page is right there. Very simple to manage. So I'm just going to save this, and I'm going to return back to my uh, page. I'm going to reload that. So just that simple, what I've done here is I've added to the bottom of the page here a breadcrumb trail. And as you can see, this actually is functional. I can take that back to the home page. Um, it, you know, it works. So those objects, just to help understand how all this stuff comes together, uh, this editor, this visual editor, as we call it, helps you to define that. And every time you change the page, as I just clicked on this contact us uh, link here, you'll see all of the different records here or edit this page or children found under this page so I might want to edit this page so if I edit this page it'll take me right to the contact us form so again a lot of moving pieces to your enterprise it's important to know how they all come together the visual editor is just a added value that we provide we can easily close out that editor uh, so that we don't see it anymore there it's gone we want to turn it on we just enable edit mode and again, if you don't want to provide that link on your site, which we understand, simply uh, pay close attention to this query string path. So question mark EM equals zero turns it off. Question mark EM equals one turns it on. And that way you can easily see and navigate. So if you needed to, you know, tweak or modify, you know, the sitemap page or you're wondering where it came from, and how you might adjust it, simply click that on and it'll take you right to the sitemap page as you see there. So again, you have to have uh, client console privileges in order to access the visual editor, but it is an extremely helpful tool 
in demystifying how all of this comes together. And, uh, and the same thing happens if you are setting up your own site, you know, using your own style sheets and your own layout. It doesn't matter. As you add things to CenterPoint, it's uh, very intelligent, and it's keeping track of that so that it'll provide you a guide in which to, to manage those things. If you have any more questions, please contact your uh, production uh, management uh, representative, and they can walk you through it. Thank you.